Hi, and welcome to Behavioral Journal, where we give you a quick look at what's happening in our city. I'm Lindsay Paris, and the Christmas spirit has taken over Haverhill's every corner, from here at Studio 101, to strolls, to festivals of trees, to Christmassy open houses, like the recent one at Tattersall Farm. For the first time ever, the Tattersall Farm Charitable Foundation opened the Tattersall Home for a special Christmas on the Farm open house on December 2nd. The Journal joined the jolly crowd to enjoy a magnificently decorated house tour, horse-drawn hay rides, and a gingerbread contest full of sweet surprises. Tattersall Farm has never been open to the public before, so this year we're holding a Christmas at the farmhouse, open house at the farm, so all the residents can actually come inside and see what the farm would have looked like had the Tattersall still been here. We have been decorating for weeks, and there have been a core group of decorators, volunteers and trustees, as well as people who have just inquired and donated things. We have all the decorations pretty much donated, including the Christmas trees. So it's a lot of work by the community in general to put this all together. The farmhouse was built in the late 1700s and we've done our best to preserve the wallpapers where possible. Some of it had to be removed and all of the interior has recently been repainted in the effort to open it up more often to the public and make them aware of the beauty of the home and also farm life in Haverhill during the 18th and 19th centuries. I grew up on North Broadway and I knew of the Tattersall family and they were three maiden lady sisters, school teachers in the city of Haverhill and Methuen. Uh, and they had a brother, John, and uh, they were just very wonderful, genteel type, friendly people. The um, sisters and John passed away one by one. It wasn't clear what was going to happen with the property, but the thing is that they all wanted it to stay just exactly as it was, a beautiful country setting. Uh, Mary Alice decided to leave the whole property to the city. It was set up as the Tattersall Farm Charitable Trust Foundation, run by seven trustees. This was the first time when we decided it would be a good opportune time to have open house for the public. This is uh, to reflect their lives during the 40s, 50s, 60s. The wallpaper is the same. The furniture is, is period furniture. This is not all exactly as they would have had it, but we've done our best to open it up so that people can experience the farm. And there's a Christmas tree in every room and they all have a different color theme and it worked out so well because it was almost crazy how things fell into place because we'd open a box and there'd be all the right colors. It was just great. Show me which one is yours. The gingerbread houses were the idea of my young friend Melissa Sarasulo. We have some beautiful gingerbread houses up there. There's a prize for the amateur and junior divisions, and the professional gingerbread houses will be auctioned off through the raffle. We also have a lot of centerpieces that have been donated by local florists, so we're gonna raffle all those off. My favorite thing here today is the entryway when you come in, I just think it's beautiful. And we had um, the Graham sisters came in and decorated that tree and this tree that I'm standing in front of, and they did a fabulous job. My goodness, probably the uh, lighted wreath up the railing of the front stairway. That's very beautiful. <laughs> Everyone is saying, should we do this again? And I'm sure we will, but it's been such a long journey between the beginning to today, but I'm sure we'll do it again. Winter is a beautiful time to visit the Tattersall Farm woods and trails, which remain open to the public year-round at 755 North Broadway in Haverhill. Haverhill's own Festival of Trees, hosted by the Buttonwoods Museum, is growing every year with dozens of beautiful trees and wreaths created by local businesses and residents. It's not too late to attend and even possibly win a tree. 
Tom Spitaleri of the Buttonwoods Museum gave us the details. Welcome to the 16th Annual Buttonwoods Festival of Trees. This year we have well over 100 pieces. We have uh, wreaths, chandeliers, small trees, big trees, little trees, trees of all different sizes, themes. We have patriotic trees, we have upside down trees, we have button trees, we have trees from local historical groups, Whittier Birthplace and the Haven Firefighters Museum and others. So it's a, a well-blended mix of trees and wreaths this year. Comedy Mask Review. It's been in existence approximately 45 years. We rehearse every Tuesday morning over the Senior Center in Haverhill, and we go out to the different nursing homes and senior centers, and whoever wants to hear us, we do about three or four shows a month, and we really love it. And this is Shirley, and this is Jake, Jake is 95 years old, God bless him. And Shirley's a fantastic singer and tap dancer. And Jake's a fantastic, fantastic singer. This place is beautiful. And God bless the people that run it. They do a beautiful job. When the festival ends, we draw the names and then we start calling the winners. Between now and December 10th, if you make it down to enjoy this wonderful festival and some of the trees you've just seen here today, if you make it down, come on down, purchase your tickets, try to bring home some of these beautiful trees. Visit the Festival of Trees every day through December 10th at the Buttonwoods Museum at 240 Water Street. Strolling through downtown Haverhill took on a festive feeling Saturday, December 2nd, as the Greater Haverhill Chamber of Commerce hosted their 25th annual Christmas stroll. They called it a Grinchmas, as characters from the Dr. Seuss favorite How the Grinch Stole Christmas roamed Merrimack Street. Mild temperatures helped draw throngs of folks to come enjoy the food, music, festivities, and visits with Santa. And HC Media was out on the street to talk with some of the merrymakers. This has to be one of the biggest and best Christmas trolls I've ever seen. So tell me, how much goes into planning this event? Oh, months and months and months of hard work. We are so lucky to have a great committee that works with us, that help us with the decorations and the vendors. There's a lot of fun things going on. There's Christmas karaoke happening, cookie decorating, so. Yeah, and Santa is an HC Media Studio 101? Santa is an HC Media Studio 101. Can't wait to see him. I haven't seen him yet. Quimby, Haverhill's own Ken Quimby, um, donated the tree this year and he's going to be on hand for the tree lighting. Hello, Rudolph is here. Yay. Hi, Rudolph. Rudolph, do you talk? No, he's quiet. He's quiet. The real life Grinch is here at the Christmas stroll as part of our Whoville theme. So, what do you think, Grinch? Is this a fun time? Awesome. Looks like he's enjoying he's it. He's having yeah. a great time. What do you guys think about this Grinch? Awesome. Awesome. Right? 
Friends of the library are here at Barrett's Specialty Foods selling some of their unique merchandise, which can make great holiday gifts. So, Jen Scarcy. Hey, Linz, how are you today? Doing well, doing well. You have a big crowd in here. We do, yes. It's been pretty steady, so we're pretty happy with that. So tell us about what you're doing here at the Stroll today. So I'm here today with the Friends of the Haverhill Public Library, and what we're doing is we're selling our merchandise that we do have at the Friends Shop located inside the library. Um, the top seller for today is our Friends Calendar 2018. And I love this calendar. This calendar is, is so cool because every year they have 12 unique historical pictures, and you explain the context behind them as well. It's a great way to get a history lesson about Haverhill. Exactly. So, Randy, my friends, Sue and Isabella. So, you guys, what's your favorite thing about the Christmas stroll? We love coming down. To, it's such a great community event, and when they light up the tree, it is just magical. How love long it. have you been coming, Isabella? Probably since I was like five. So, <laughs> so what do you love about it? She can remember. Yeah. yeah. yeah what do you beautiful. What do you love about it? I also love the tree lighting. I mean, it's amazing how everyone just like waits and then they're all like mesmerized. Shaylise and Jasmine, they have been coming to the Christmas stroll since when? Um, last year. Last year. And this is my fifth year, probably yeah. sixth. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, got your face. Where'd you get your faces painted? Um, the har at Harbor Another. Place. Okay, very nice. So, girls, what is your favorite thing about the Christmas stroll? I mean, like, I don't really get to do fun things a lot, so yeah. this is, like, really fun, and I get to go, like, now every year. Yeah, this is really fun. How about you? Uh, Fidel. I love it a lot. I think it's so fun how everyone comes out, and, like, depending on where you are in Haverhill, a bunch of people come. I've never been, but this year I can, like, the energy is very, like, high, and I really like it a lot. It's just a lot of fun. Elaine, what is your favorite part of the Christmas stroll? Being old Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the outfit, right? I yes. Love it. Where'd you get the sweater? I got this at Target. I love it. Yeah, love thank it. you. You know, I really feel that when you're having an event, you should try to create and work within the theme. So I started with the sweater, and then I made the banner, and got the balloons, and did everything uh, around Grinch. Queen and king of Christmas cheer here from the chamber. Bev He's got George. his festive scarf yeah, on, so, yeah, so that works. Out. Oh, like you need that. the necklace. Scarf. Oh, I don't <laughs> have that. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, Bev, how did you pull yeah. all this off? It's amazing. It's the best Christmas troll I think uh, I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, actually, I have to give most of the credit to, to Melissa Seavey. She's our events coordinator. Uh, she put together a great team, including HC Media, so we're very excited and happy and thankful. It's great to see yeah. the city like this and to showcase what's going on in Haverhill. It's a wonderful city, and it's great that we, we have it being showcased like this. And yeah. I thank you, Bev. Yeah, thank the welcome. Chamber for all the work that they do to make it look good. Bev, tell us quickly a little bit more about the pop-up shop. Uh, so the pop-up shops are new this year, yep. and it's a way that we can highlight some of our more home-based businesses, plus some of the nonprofits in the city, like uh, Career Resources. We've expanded this year, so yeah. going down Merrimack Street for the first time in a long time, there has been shops and, and places to go, and so um, everybody's really excited to grow it this year. We still have all of our shops on Wingate Street and Washington yeah. Street, and um, next year we want to make it even bigger because we know even more new businesses are coming downtown, so it's a great time. All well, the great music yeah. too, is here on the street. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of different pieces of music playing here, yeah. so it's great Two to have stages. that too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we will see you guys at the tree lighting. Great. All right. Thank 530. Santa, what do you think about this reception? I'm telling you, every time I come to the stroll, it's always exciting. Tiffany loves coming to the to the stroll, and we have, meet the nicest people here in Haverhill, and the children are so nice, they're polite. All right, kids, we're going to count down and light this tree. This is what kind of a tree? I say it's a Christmas tree. It's a Christmas, it's a Christmas tree Christmas. for sure. All right. Let's count it down. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Light up! Merry Christmas, April! Ho, ho, ho! Looking forward to next year's stroll, we're already wondering what 2018's theme is going to be. 
This coming January 1st, New Year's Day, Mayor James Fiorentini will be inaugurated for a record-breaking eighth time, making him the longest-serving mayor in Haverhill history. The inauguration ceremony will begin at 10 a.m. in the City Hall Auditorium and is open to the public. The mayor, nine newly elected or re-elected city councilors, and three school committee members will all be sworn in at the ceremony. And if you had an especially festive New Year's Eve and don't feel up to going out, you can watch the entire event live on HC Media's Comcast Channel 9 or on the Channel 9 live stream at our website, HaverhillCommunityTV.org. If you have a story or event you'd like to see featured on the Haverhill Journal, call us at 978-372-8070 or email info at HaverhillCommunityTV.org. And don't forget to like us on Facebook or at our HC Media YouTube channel. And that's what's happening in Haverhill the week of December 7th. I'm Lindsay Paris, and on behalf of the Journal, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2018.